Okay. Gonna open up a box pack, little tiny thing of 2021 Tops Rip. This was an online exclusive. Got it through uh, my Montgomery Club membership through Tops. It's like 100 bucks, I wanna say. Um, haven't seen a ton of huge hits come out of these, but we'll see. Probably gonna rip most of these cards unless it's, you know, a big time player or something like that, just because that's more fun, right? I think, yep, we got one pack, should be what, four rip cards. So we shall see what we get here. The auto checklist is pretty solid if we happen to get lucky and hit an auto. Obviously, no guarantees there. All right. Starting out, Javi Baez. Looks like a base out of 99. I think we're going to go ahead and rip that one. I'm not exactly the biggest Javi Baez fan. We got a little perforation there. Try my best here. I've seen some people butcher these, so I'm going to try not to. Sweet. Thanks, Tops. All right. Ooh. Got a numbered. Looks like a perp. And it looks like, is that Brian Hayes? I can't tell. I'm not, I don't know what his face looks like. I don't know well enough. I'm not a Brian Hayes guy. Trying to be careful, as careful as I can. It's a rookie, so it's probably Cabrian Hayes, which is pretty nice. Let's see if I can slide it out. Nice. I'd say that's a pretty uh, solid hit, all things considered. Cabrian Hayes. I will say these have some, these minis. I was being like as careful as I can. And there's some surface indentations you can see kind of in the middle of the card there's one right there and there's a bunch near the top so not not perfect condition not something that would get graded but that's a really nice get brian hayes out of 25 anyways it's a cool card i would say that's a big win over the hobby bias out of 99. next card up we have got a derek jeter out of 25. I'm going to be honest, don't think I'm going to be ripping this one. I think I'm going to just uh, see what this one goes for. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'll rip it down the line. If I do, I'll make a video. But as of right now, I, I haven't seen anything to make me think that I'm going to hit a monster out of this. So if there could be a Trout Auto in here, I guess, who knows. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the odds of saying this is probably better to keep. Put that up there with our hits that we're keeping there. All right, here we got a Gary Sheffield out of 50. I think we can rip this one, guys. I don't know. I doubt there's going to be anything huge in a Gary Sheffield out of 50, but I don't need a Gary Sheffield card. All right, let's see if we do a better job of ripping this one. This is how it's supposed to work, apparently. Nice and slow. Well, that worked a lot better. I mean, I still gotta, you know, peel back the doors here. So it looks like we got a Sean Murphy. Doesn't look like it's numbered, so probably just like a base mini of Sean Murphy here. What oh, is numbered? Numbered out of 50. Okay. I mean, it's like a photo variation or something. I don't know. It doesn't, there's no like color to it. So I don't think that's anything special color wise. Maybe it's like a, maybe it's like a short print, but and a Gary Sheffield out of 50 for a Sean Murphy out of 50. Again, probably should have kept that one. Probably would have come out ahead keeping it ripped or unripped, but that's okay. It's fun. All right, and now we got, ooh, 
Kyle Lewis to 15. You know, if this was rookie year Kyle Lewis, I'd probably hold on to this, but I'm not, I'm not a big, you know, Kyle Lewis believer, so I'm thinking I'm going to go ahead and rip this one too. This is a super short printed one, so I feel like if there's going to be some sort of auto, I feel like it would be in the short print, you know? So let's give it a shot. We have got what appears to be a LA Angel, maybe Otani. So if this is an auto, that's going to be awesome. But even if it's just a, a mini, I'll take an Otani mini at this point. I don't see an autograph on there anywhere. So we're looking at probably just a maybe a base Otani mini or something like that. Shohei Otani out of 50. So I don't know if they're all, if all the base minis are out of 50 or not. I really have no idea. Oh, I see. Um, let's think, look for rare image variations. I guess I'll have to check online and see if I can look at what the image variations are. Maybe that's an image variation. But I don't know. I mean, part of me wants to see if there's an auto in here, but I think the smart play, I mean, I feel like I hit two out of three pretty good minis like brian hayes out of 25 and otani out of 50 the sean murphy's kind of a wash and then i think the jeter is just a solid hit on its own i don't i think the odds are i'm not gonna come out ahead ripping this so i'm gonna call it i think that was a pretty good box all things considered i wish the otani was maybe a lower numbered parallel but it is what it is i, I thought it was kind of a cool thing i wish the the cards kind of look i don't know just to look at the sean murphy I get they're playing off the whole rip thing, you know, with the design. I feel like it's a little bit dated looking to me. It just looks kind of like a kind of like a photoshoppy cheap kind of card, like very like base card, like super like tops flagship base card kind of design, but like worse. I don't know. It looks like a like an insert you'd see in like top series 1 or something. So, I don't love the look of the cards. I actually like the look of the uh, the rip cards more. They're a lot cleaner. It looks like, I mean, without it doesn't have the, uh, you know, it's not chromed out or anything. But other than that, it looks like the kind of design you'd see on, like, a prism basketball or something, right? Like, it's super clean. So, I like that. I wish the minis were closer to that look for my money. But, all right, that's it.